10 a.m. party. Here we go. Sit up tall. Fine, stack spine. Drawing the belly in and up, rib cage back and down and setting in your gait somewhere in your, between your eyebrows or at the bridge of the nose. And begin breathing, just noticing. Notice how you're feeling in your body. Notice how you're feeling in your mind. And notice how you're feeling in your heart. The aim of the practice is to bring congruency to all three parts. Let's exhale the breath. Breathe in through the nose. Find your peak. Open the mouth, release, loud ha. Breathing in. Wide mouth. Inhale. Transition to Ujjayi breath. Inhale. Exhales. Take another two cycles like this and I'll meet everyone in child's pose. Give yourself a moment to arrive on your mat. The practice builds congruency by dropping away all the constructs of the mind, the feelings around the constructs, emotions around them, and we come back into experiencing truth. Truth rests in the present moment. And for the present moment, we practice on our mats. Let's come on all fours and build your cat-cow. Start by lifting through your heart and rounding through your back. The aim is to synchronize some breath and movement. And start working on your wrist, perhaps on your, on your feet as well. Tucking the toes will give you a nice stretch on the bottoms of the feet. And turn your, your hands a quarter turn. We'll give you a stretch through the inside of the wrist and the forearms. It also starts bearing weight on the joints, stimulating synovial fluid in them. Come back into center. With your hands turned in sideways, we're going to work a barrel. So hollow your belly around your spine and shift the weight to the right. Then transition to, to round your back, rather, drop the belly, shift to the left, and then barrel all the way across and over again. Drop the belly on the way on across at the bottom, rounding across to the top, couple cycles, and then switch directions. Let's meet back at center and work the wrist, half turn back, rotate the fingertips back and start leaning your weight back. So you're transferring weight from the heel to the tip of your fingers. Maybe rotate that hand, give it a fist release and then do the same on the opposite side.
All right, guys, let's meet back at center. Spread the fingers wide. Ground a little more through the index and thumbs, fingers. Inhale. Lift your hips high. Downward dog exhales. Arrive and pedal. Shaking your head, releasing tension from the shoulders, your jaw. Open and close your mouth. Stick your tongue out. Fly in face. Come back to center. Grounding down through your fingertips, draw the heels in the direction of the mat and try to press the heart towards your shins. Shift the gaze forward, lift the heels high, and begin tiptoeing until you reach the top of your mat. Stay light through your toes and very heavy through your hands. Hang here and ragdoll bending the knees and just Grabbing a hold, hold of opposite elbows so you can rock to the left and right. Let's stretch to the shoulders. Either catch a towel or lace fingers behind you. Draw the knuckles up. Squeeze the quads and lift the hips a quarter inch. And then release, exhales. Squeeze the thighs, lift the hips a bit higher, exhales. Releasing on your inhale, lifting the hips a bit higher and the knuckles further. And then release. Stick it for a deep knee bend. With your hands under the shoulders, lower the hips down towards your heels. Heels high for the moment first. Feel the stretch of the toes and the heels towards the mat. Not necessarily touching. Open the knees, maybe for a stretch of the inner thighs, lowering your chest between your legs. Hang here for a moment. No, no weightless crow or flightless crow. Let's come back to center. Lift your hips, find your fold. And on your inhale, sweep and rise to standing. At the top, start catchers, ground the right foot, reach up to the right hand, and switch sides. Left foot grounds down, reach up through the left fingertips, then bring it back to center. Grounding both feet, lift up incredibly high. Cactus the arm, squeeze through the shoulder blades, and beam the heart high. Come back to center. Float the palms in front of the heart. Close your eyes and let's find intention and purpose for today's movement. Begin by connecting with a grateful space within the heart. And then creating your intention through that emotion. Let's heal together, guys. Sound of peace, sound of Om, deep in care. Ah. Ah. Arms come back by your sides in mountain pose. Inhale, sweep high. Swan dive, exhales. Prepare long backs, right foot steps back, lunge. Fill out your lunge for a moment just to feel the earth supporting your legs and through the energy of your core and muscles, lift up your heart just a little bit so you can feel the buoyancy and lift, inhale the breath. Hands to the ground, lower the back knee, untuck your toes and lean forward to your hips, lengthen, option tuck your chin towards your chest. Gather the right glute and see what happens with the stretch. Notice if you shake your head to the left, what happens to the stretch? Exhale your breath. Let's release, find your lunge, inhales. Downward dog, exhale, try to unweigh the foot and then step it back to down dog. Inhale, come forward, find a plank, or just before plank, 
and then move back into downward facing dog. Listen, cat roll forward, so you're articulating your spine right before plank. Pack your hips back, downward facing dog. One more time, articulate forward. Find your plank and then hold. Maybe use your knees if you need a little bit of support. And we're gonna lean the hips to the left and then lean the hips to the right. So you're coming on the pivots on the edge of your foot, turning on through the obliques. Come back to center, inhale. Rock forward and lower halfway down. Hover at the bottom, inhales. Lower all the way to the ground, exhale your breath. Untuck your feet, bring your palms under the shoulders. Cobra, lift your chest. Draw your hands towards the hips and spread the collarbone wide. As you press with the hands, soften the glutes just a little bit, and then lift up to your heights. Releasing back down, palms ground under the shoulders, push up onto plank on your knees. Then shift the hips back to your heels, child's pose. Take a deep inhale. Press a moment awareness, exhales. Return on all fours. Tuck the toes, lift the hips high, down dog. Lift your heels, inhale, sweep your right leg back. To cheat, I need to nose. Round your back. We extend high, shift the gaze forward, take a big step to the right thumb, arriving clean from heel to toe. Build your lunge, guys. Energize through the back quadricep, through the core, popping up to the fingertips at the end. Inhales. Lower the back knee, untuck your toes, keep leaning forward. Lengthen when you're ready or tuck your chin to your chest. This time if you lean your head a little bit towards the right, you get a stretch to the neck. That connects all the way to the hip flexor and the top of the thigh. Exhales. Return to your lunge. On your inhale, rock forward to standing splits. Left leg lifts and points. And release the left foot meets the right, folding forward. Sweep high inhales. Let's interloop the thumbs at the top and separate the feet about hip width distance. Pull the thumbs away from center, beam your heart to your hands and then take it back. Lengthen your tailbone, avoid sticking your tailbone back. And as you lean back, Seal the core, exhale your breath. Return to center, inhales. Forward fold, exhales. Inhale, long backs. Left foot steps back to lunge. Engaging through the quad, bring the front leg towards straight, pushing the floor away. Isometrically drawing your legs towards each other and Sistering or sending the right hip back, left hip forward, another way to feel it. You can start with a long back, baby blocks under your hands. So you can feel the acceleration of the heart forward. Staying here is an option, draping the chest down is another. If you'd like to go even further, bring your hands between both feet. Rotate your hands towards your back foot. Now round your back, it's a deep stretch of the piriformis on the right side. So tucking your chin to your chest, round your back, gather the quadricep, and breathe. Push the floor away with your hands, exhale. Release, bend your knee, inhale. Press the hands on with the foot, downward dog, exhale your breath. Inhale forward, find your high plank. Lower halfway down, let's push back again high. Lift up again. Lower halfway down, lower the knees, straighten the arms, upward facing dog on your knees, and arrive, settle in. Seal the core and then maybe go further, grounding through your tops of the feet, lift up your knees, lift up your hips off the ground. Inhale the breath. Roll on your feet or tuck on your toes as you roll back to downward facing dog. Deep breath in, slow breath out. Chaturanga flow, guys. Bring it forward, breathe in. Bring the shoulder just a little past your hands, the lower halfway down. One line. Up dog, inhales. Down dog, exhales. 
inhale and exhale. Let your heels inhale the left leg back. Flex the toes, knee to nose, run your back. We extend. Shift the gaze forward, big step to your left thumb. Create lots of space by drawing the knee to the chest and stepping forward. Bring the front leg towards straight, pushing the floor away, feeling the stretch. In my body, I feel it on, the, on my foot, on the pinky toe side, up through the ligaments, through the side of the calf, and then rounding back to the hamstring. So, so the thighs, prepare with a long spine, and then draping the chest down and forward. You like to go further, hands halfway between your feet, rotate your hands back, hollow the belly and push the floor away from your core, around your spine. Next. Let's release, bend your knee, rocking forward to standing splits, right leg lifts and points. Releasing right foot meets left, fold it forward, breathe out. Inhale, sweep high to standing. At the top, interlace the fingers and release your index fingers. Half moon, feet together. Slip up the thighs, inhale. Body right, hips left. Draw the belly in, square the shoulders and hips. And as you squeeze your palms, your arms will activate. That tension draws your lats into, um, into wrapping around your core. From that wrapping action, then Imaginary pulley on your right hands, on your hands, pull, and then allow you to shift it further onto the edge of your left foot for three, two, one, back to center. We chop inhales, body left, hips right. First, work your alignment, and from structure, build the freedom to explore. Notice what tension in your muscles create. Find that imaginary pulley, draw it on your hands and draw it so you're leaning onto the edge of your right foot, belly in. Go into your edge, three, two, one, back to center. Back bend. You can bring your hands to your low back or keep them up overhead. Separate the feet hip with distance. Sipping the thighs, the core, lift the heart. Take it back, guys. Keep drawing the line of the jaw back first. And once you take your upper body back, you may start to send the gaze a little bit further back. Just avoid crunching on the back of your neck. Lengthen the tailbone. Build your edge. Come back to center. And release arms by your sides, mountain pose. Deep inhales. Slow exhales. Second set, sweep your arms up. And on the exhale, Body to the right, move the hips to the left. Keep your palms together, feet together, and release the right arm down towards the thigh. So we're gonna use the momentum or the weight of the arm to take us deeper. Lift the right palm to meet the left, inhale. Use the weight of the arm to take you further, exhales. Hold the, the tension, inhale, right arm up. Exhale, let the arm weigh you further, three, two, one. When you up and over all the way to the opposite side. Lift the left arm, meet the right palm, inhale. Exhale, lift the left arm, weigh you down and take you further out. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, take it further. Shift the gaze under the arm, three, two, one. Back to center. Second back bend, guys. Take your options. Feet apart. Pull the heels away from center. Set your pelvis. Lift the heart. Take it back. Start to approach your edge, right at the end. Come back to center, arms come back by your sides, mountain pose. Awkward, let's build it. Power posture, separate the feet, but hip width distance. Two fists between your toes and heels, reach your arms forward, deep inhale, seal the core, bend the knees and push your hips back, find a chair. Try to turn on the glutes, lengthen your tailbone, 
and then use the glutes to actually push you back along with the quadriceps. Build tension. Keep the knees open in line with second, third toes. From up your arms, soften your face. Building congruency through the present moment. Start to sit a little bit back. And then at your deepest, start to bring your spine back in space. For three, two, and one. Let's come up high. And from your toe mounds, lift the heels up as high as you can. If you want to gain a little bit more balance, imagine there's a block between the palms and you're trying to squeeze it. Focus on your gaze and then bend the knees, lift the heels even higher. At your deepest hips, just higher than the knees. Belly draws in, hold. Come all the way high. Heels to the ground, third and last. Feet apart, knees together. Internally rotate the femurs, breathe in. With the weight on your toe mounts, lower down imaginary wall, halfway, or all the way hips, right over ankles. Squeeze the thighs for balance. Smile. <laughs> balance the inhales with the length of the exhales. If you like to go deeper, let's squeeze the thighs, lift about a quarter inch from where you are. Exhale your breath, belly in. Riding the breath all the way up into standing, slowing the ascent. Arms come back by your sides, mountain pose. Facing the length side of your mat, guys, the long side of your mat. For warrior posture, start from the top. Mountain pose, exhales. Sweep high, breathe in. Big step out towards the back of your mat. And on your back heel, pivot once to the back wall or the back mat, inhale. Bend the back knee and then lower yourself into warrior two. Noticing how the tendency for the body to surf the body forward, bring the shoulders back over the hips. You may find compression on the back leg, right at the hip joint. Bending the front leg, then building your warrior. Let's turn into the wisdom of the warrior. It's energy, it's courage, the ability to face fear, smiling face. Exhale your breath, go deeper. Shift the gaze to the back hand, flip the palm, bend the triangle. Left forearm to thigh if you like, support yourself. Brace the legs into their sockets, and then maybe bend the knee deeper as you bring the left arm or the bottom arm towards straight. Press the four corners of the back foot into the mat, and shift the gaze to the right fingertips. Focus your gaze somewhere in your hand, your thumb. Pushing the elbow into the knee, Firm up the top glute and then spiral the top rib cage open. Exhale your breath. Let's come up where two. Straighten the leg. Pivot the foot forward, then pivot the right foot or the front foot towards the top of your mat. Bend the knee and sit where two on the side. Noticing if the tricep muscles are loose, draw them up into the bone. Hug in. Pressing both feet evenly into the mat. Challenge the peaceful way of being. Find your edge. Shift the gaze to the back hand, flip the palm, till sideways, bend your triangle. Draw the legs in their sockets, stabilize, and then at your own pace, deepen. All the instabilities become apparent. To deepen, bend the leg a little bit further and spiral the left, the top rib cage open at the end. Exhale your breath. 
Inhale, back warrior two. Straighten the leg, pivot the foot forward. And we're stepping towards the back of our mats. Inhales, arms up. Mountain pose, release. Sweep high, breathe in. Big step to the top of your mat. Inhales, hinging forward, exhales. Let's work as stretch of the thighs, bend the knees left and right. Let's work our twist, guys. Come back to center, point your feet straight forward. Right hand under the shoulder, left hand at your low back. So the top hand is guiding your hips to square. Aim the heart forward and then spiral towards the left side. Shift the weight slightly onto the right foot to level the hips. And then with downward pressure on the top hand, feel the shoulder open. If you'd like to find a bind, bring the left hand right at the crease of your right hip or the top of the thigh. I just spiral open and self-assist. Inhale, twist. Release the arm. Come back to center and switch. Left palm on the shoulder, right hand at your low back. Start by leveling the hip. Sit up your thigh so your quads are engaged. Aim the heart forward and twist. All right, check in. Draw the bottom part of the glutes in. And then start making your progressions. Noticing your meat resistance. Soften first. Acknowledge it. And then use love to go pierce the resistance. Maybe finding half. Binds if you like. Belly in, twist to your edge. And releasing. Come back to center. Exhale the breath. Heel to the feet so they're in um, slightly wider than your hips. So from a last and a toes out, heels in. Lower the hips and have to sway my hips to find a place where I can hold. And then once you lower tailbone down, elbows squeeze at the knees, inside the knees, and you're pushing the elbows against them simultaneously drawing the bottom of the glutes in. Let's work a stretch of the wrist, guys. Fingertips down, fingertips up. Inhale the breath, cleanse inside out. Crow, all right. Palms under, under the shoulders, so a little bit more forward. I like a different entry. You're welcome to start from here. Bring your shins onto your triceps, creating letter X, and then rocking forward or Bring your toes together first, bend the knees wide, bring your shins to your, to your tricep, and then as you rock forward, lift one or both feet off the ground. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, malasana, one. Gather the bottom part of the glutes, seal the thighs, press to standing. Keep the feet forward, stepping to the top of your mat, arms by your sides, mountain pose. Sweep high, breathe in. Take a medium step to where the center of the mat, just outside of the hips, and let's give it to the back of the mat first. Check out your back foot, 45 degree angle, so you're not in a balanced beam, soft railroad track. Inhales. Exhale, one arm forward, the other back, I'm assuming is the right one, but you're twisting to one side. Noticing the back shoulder has a tendency to lift to your ear, bring it up around the chromium process so it can hug in to the oblique and the serratus. Just the hands, draw your knuckles in towards the forearms. Then open the arms and reach the fingers at the end. Let's release back hand to waist, opposite arm to sky, hinging, forward twisting triangle. As you reach the bottom, guys, maybe a block, maybe your mat. The wider the feet are apart front and back, the more challenging the posture, find your distance, aim the heart forward, and then twist to the side. Same side you were twisting, and standing twist. Notice your hips, bring them into alignment, so the Hip that corresponds to the front foot draws back, the back foot hip draws forward. Take your approach, 
Soften your face. Inhale. And then releasing both hands down to the ground. Step the back foot forward and forward fold. I'm gonna pivot towards the long of my mat. Continue, continue to twist towards the same side. So bend the knees, lower the hips. This is side crow, guys. And so you're twisting the same direction you were twisting on your standing twist. Just your torso, keep your knees forward. And side crow, bring your hands underneath the shoulders. So I'm gonna face this way so you can see me. Your hands are gonna come underneath the shoulders. Now your, you, one of your hips could draw to your, to your elbow. Additionally, you can lift it off of the elbow. You need chattering the arms to rock forward, squeeze the inner thighs to, bring the, to lift the feet off the ground. And once you have your feet lifted, you can work to straighten the legs, squeeze the thighs, or you can work any variation of the side crow. I'll give you half a minute to work it. Beautiful, guys. Can I meet you? In a forward fold, facing long ways, in the center of your mat. Inhale, sweep high. Bring your palms together. Take a small step towards the top of your mat. And then pivot forward, back foot 45 degree angle. Find your railroad tracks, breathe in. Twist to the opposite side. Whoop, I'm twisting this. So it's not an open twist, it's against the twist. And then as you draw your energy up, scissor the thighs and feel the core, abdomen draw in. Back shoulder draws in away from the ear. Spiral and back. Exhale your breath. Back hand to waist, opposite arm to sky, inhale. Let's hinge forward, twisting triangle, find your block, maybe your mat or shin. Separate the feet, whatever distance works for your body. Lengthen your body and then twist. Same direction. Use your top hand to guide your hips to alignment. And accelerate the crown of the head towards the center of the mat. Has a tendency to go to one corner. Find your edge. And releasing both hands down to the ground, step the back foot forward and fold. All right, lowering your hips down to your heels. You're gonna twist to the same side you were twisting just a moment ago. Keep your knees forward and your torso is the only part that is twisting first. So I have to kind of move my belly so I can clear space for my rib cage to hug into the thigh. And then this allows my spiral line to become more accessible. All right, hands under your shoulders, find your entry, squeeze the thighs, lift your hips as you rock forward, stack your elbows over your wrists. Give you 30 seconds. Beautiful, guys. Let's meet in a seated position. This is a yin type of seating. So tuck your toes under, start on all fours. And with your toes tucked under, start to lift up your torso, eventually sitting your shoulders over hips, hips over heels, heels over toe mounts. And close your eyes. Just breathe. Let discomfort be your anchor to the present moment. Inhales, open mouth, release. Let's come again onto all fours. Tuck the toes, lift the hips high, come up downward facing dog. All right, guys, so lifting the right leg up into the sky. We're gonna stack the right hip above the left. At the beginning, the bottom heel is going to be lifted. 
Allow it to be lifted and allow the shoulder to open along with the hip. All right, here's the progression. So bend the top knee and the back foot, the one on the floor, you're gonna turn it into a 45 degree angle so you can actually ground the heel on the mat. So it's turning outwards. All right, so then the left hand is gonna reach back, tenting it. So you're working balance here. Contract the hamstring and perhaps with the right hand pushing the floor away, reach out for the top foot. And once you have it, kick it into your hand. So you're in down dog bow. Inhale, we extend. Find your three-legged down dog. Here we go, let's come forward for Trianga. Keep your leg lifted, lower halfway down. Inhale, do a three-legged up dog. Push it back, three-legged down dog. Releasing the right leg down to the mat. All right, we're gonna do the same thing for the opposite side. Lift the left leg behind you. Point the toes and stack the hip. Left hip above right. Let the shoulder open, let the hip open. All right, now bending the left knee, lower the left shoulder, and then maybe shorten the distance of your down dog a bit. So the right toes are turning out to the right, heel into the left. All right, so now press the left arm, press it into the ground so you can integrate the shoulder girdle, the arm into the shoulder girdle, and then tend the right hand. Contract your hamstring and then reach the hand to your foot. Once you have your foot, kick lightly into the hand and breathe. Inhale, we extend. All right, heel rises, come forward. Three-legged flow, lower halfway down. Inhale, three-legged up dog, three-legged down dog, and release. Left leg lowers, lowers down, downward facing dog. Deep inhale, open mouth, release. Inhale, come forward, find plank, and pivot on the edge of your right foot, right hand under the shoulder, side plank. All right, so lowering the right knee to the mat is an option. Imagine there's a Dial on the right hand is going clockwise. And as you're pushing the floor away, the left bicep goes up into by your ear. It's an option. Another option is to find your foot with your hand, lifting up the foot up and away. Steady breathe. Hit your bound release. Both hands down to the mat. Find your plank. Let's do it on the edge of the opposite foot, then settle in. Noticing your hands a little bit more forward than your shoulder. Pushing again, this time the dial on your left hand would be going counterclockwise to open your shoulder. Full belly breaths. Find your options. Inhales and release both hands to the ground. Downward facing dog, exhale your breath. All right, guys, we're traveling forward to the top of our mat. So bring your feet a little closer together, one step closer to your hands. You can donkey kick the heels to your tailbone three times, and then I'll meet you at the top of your mat. As you shift the gaze past your hands, bend the knees and pulse the legs up. Find a little bit of air. And I'll meet you at the top of the mat. Okay. Inhale to a long spine. Exhale, fold. Sit high, inhales. Eagle, the right arm under the left, right leg up over and around your left. Working both sides simultaneously. The foot can wrap behind your calf like a rope. Another option is to let the foot hang outside the calf. Most importantly is the internal rotation of your femurs. Squeeze the upper thighs. Lower the elbows down to your chest, fingertips maybe about forehead level, belly in. 
tailbone tucks. Find your stability and breathe into it. Exhale. Sweep high, inhale, release. Eagle the opposite side, left arm under right, left leg up over, around. Calm transitions. Find grace in your movements. Congruent with the heart, the mind and the body. Soften your gaze. Find your edge. And release. Sweep your arms to the sky, breathing in. Folding forward, breathing out. We're getting ready to jump to the back of our mat. So through Chaturanga Float. So walk your feet back. Round your palms to the core, shoulders on the back. Bottom of your breath, walk, jump, or float. And Chaturanga, I'll meet you in Downward Dog. Heels rise, inhale, sweep your right leg up. Take a big step forward, lunge. Lower the back knee to the ground, untuck your toes. Let's work lizard first. So both hands to the inside of your knee. Inch the back knee further back to lean your body forward. Stay here or start to lower your elbows. Maybe a block, you have blocks, maybe your mat. Let's breathe in, let's breathe out. One more breath, inhales, and exhales. And wind yourself, guys. If you have a towel, grab it on your left hand, sweep your arms up, inhale, rise. Low lunge back, bend. Uh, towel on your left hand, bend the elbow, lower the right arm, and bend both elbows, internally rotating your shoulder, so that you can reach out for your towel or your hands in the absence of a towel. All right, so try to shorten the distance between your hands as, more, as much as you can. Lean forward, ground your shin, and lift up the elbow. So you're leaning the energy from the top of the, the knee up all the way to the side of the body and to the tricep and the elbow at the end. Exhale your breath. And let's release, bring it forward, hands touch the ground, tuck the toes, straighten in the back leg, step it back, down with up. Heels rise, seam heel, left leg up. Big step forward, lunge. Lower the back knee, untuck your toes, work lizard first. Both hands to the inside of your knee. Lifting out through the heart. Taking your progressions. Notice the moment the spine begins to round, you may have gone too far. It starts to bypassing some of the stretch. One more breath, inhales, full exhales. From the front foot with both hands, grab a towel or strap on your right hand and sweep high, breathe in. All right, lowering the left arm back, bend both elbows, reaching out for your hands or reaching out for your towel. Lean your hips as far forward as you can. Shorten the gap between your hands and then lift up. Gather the right glute as you press your back shin through the mat. Now start from that energy to lift up into your elbow. For three, two, and one. Return to center, touch the mat. Lift the back knee, step it back, downward dog, exhale your breath. All right, guys, we're gonna fly forward to Malasana or onto Crow. So starting with the feet a little bit closer to your hands, you can try it three times if you like and find your progression. So bend the knees, pulse the legs, hips rise, bend the feet on the outside of your hands, Malasana. Then start over. Maybe aim for the knees to your, to your elbows or to your triceps. As you come forward, ground your fingertips, lift up, and then add your knees and elbows to come into crow. And then try it again. 
I'll meet you in crow at the bottom of your third try. Five, four, three, two, Malasana, squat. Gather the bottom part of the glutes, turn on your legs, exhale, press up to standing, pivot the feet forward, mountain pose, arms by your sides. Let's face the long edge of the mat again, sideways. The top of the mat, sweep high, breathe in, they step out. Inhale, dive forward, exhale. We're, we're taking to a sumo twist, guys. So with our feet apart, I'm gonna face forward. Bend deep into your left leg. And as you're bending deep into the leg, the right foot starts to turn out. So you're gathering the leg in the squat and then your left toes are turning out. So you have space to lower. Now you can grab your towel. You can hold here. You like to work a twist. Towel on your right hand, sweep the arm up over behind, and then reach out for the wrap arm underneath the shin. And then once you find your twist, throw the gaze over the right foot. Belly in. Inhales. Exhales. Release your bind. Come back to center. You can pedal the legs left and right. All right, opposite side. Right toes turn out. Lean deeply into the right leg. Left toes turn up to the sky. Eventually, the right heel is going to ground. It really depends on your hips, where they are in the opening. If you want to work a bind on this side, go for it. Your towel will be on your left hand, sweeping it up over behind, and then bringing the right arm up over and underneath the shin. The gaze over the left toes. Inhales. Exhales. Releasing your binds, both hands to the ground, lift up your hips and pedal the legs to the left and to the right. Standing, step your legs, stretching. Side the pigeon, toe your toes, inhales out. Bend the knees enough so you can lean your heart forward and let the belly drape between your thighs. So now you're hanging here, let the collarbone be open. Let the head be heavy, reach out to our calf angles, heel, squeeze the thighs, then bottom part of glutes. Then lift the hips up into the sky. Again, meet resistance, say hi to it. What's up? And then I'm gonna shower you with love. Permeate every cell of the body. Allow that to be the growth. Allow that to be the strength. With the hips a bit higher, exhale. And release your binds, lift the heart, breathe in. And breathe out. All right, working a bind, guys. So again, towels or straps. We're gonna lift the left heel. And then try to shimmy the left shoulder as much as you can underneath the left knee. Literally, I'm grabbing my belly on the left side. I'm sending it over to the right so I can connect my rib cage to the thigh. Now, once my, my shoulder is underneath, I'm sending my towel up over and around the left hip. Not at the hip, but more a little bit more towards the, towards the thigh. Left shoulder rolls down or inward rotates. Grab the towel or hands. And then try to strain that leg as you push the floor away. Level the hips, kind of hard to tell directionally where I am in space. Keep lifting your thighs. The head hang. Pretty absurd body positioning. Breathing with your entire belly and the lower back. And releasing, guys. Both hands down to the ground. Lift up first. Maybe shake your hips a little bit. Here's the opposite side. Lift the right heel as high as you can. And once again, I'm kind of grabbing my belly, pulling it out to the left, and then using my shoulder to shimmy as far as I can underneath the knee. All right, next, and the towel sends over around the right hip. 
internally rotate the left, the right shoulder rather, and reach out for your towel or your hand. Lower the right heel and bring the right leg towards straight. Notice I didn't say completely straight, I say towards it. Inhales. Exhales. Unwinding. Come back to center. Pedal it out for a moment. All right, guys. So working in towards guillotine. So you're going to need a towel and, uh, and possibly a strap. So we're working the same, the same body positioning, except we're binding through both shoulders. So inching the feet a little bit closer, toes in, heels out. I'm first drawing the first shoulder in. And then I'm drawing, I'm putting the towel on my low back. I'm keeping the towel there. And then I'm bringing my right foot out, bringing the right shoulder in. Now, as I start to bring the legs towards straight, my goal is to internally rotate the arms to bring my hands towards the towel that's on my low back. It may or may not happen but we're gonna give it a try. I need a more of a strap and then bringing the legs towards straight. Steady breaths. One more. And then unwinding absurdity. Long backs, inhales, fall down, exhales. Open your arms wide, seal the core and glutes, and come all the way up to standing. Stepping to the back of your mat, inhales, mountain pose, release. Pretty amazing. All right, so we're at the back of our mats now, working the transition from bouncing staff to standing splits to half moon. So working on the right side first, or rather left, step, left foot steps forward, sweep your arms up, step your left foot forward, lift and point, the right toes off of the mat. Now there's a couple of grips, guys. You can interlace finger release index fingers. A more challenging would be just palms together, squeezing the palms, bringing the heart to heart center. It's also a little bit easier to balance because it brings your center of gravity closer. Lower the torso and lift your leg. Creating a long diagonal line or a, or a complete horizontal line. Breathe. Transitioning to standing splits. Lower the torso and lift your leg. Once your hands arrive on the mat, work your standing splits. Listen, your standing leg presses to the mat so it integrates the glute. That's your, that's your stability. And then from here, lower the torso down. You can find it challenging, challenge to your balance, keeping the hands behind your calves. Breathe. To half moon, lengthen your torso first. Left palm caddy corner to the foot, open your torso to the right. Stack the shoulders, stack the hips. Build awareness first. Present moment. Stay present and breathe. To reverse it, guys. Come back first from standing splits. Gather the core, gather the thigh. Soft bend at your knee. Lift up halfway. Then step back. Left foot means right. Mountain pose, inhales, exhales, sweep high breathe in. Then find your hand position of choice, right foot steps forward, lift and point the left toes off the ground. Diagonal or horizontal lines at your pace. Take a two breaths. Then transition into standing splits. Lower the torso further, lift the leg even further.
gather the top leg guys find the kneecap and lift it up to the hip and then work your challenge to the balance half moon guys straighten the spine lengthen and then stack the hip over the shoulder don't do that stack your shoulders stack your hips <laughs> not in hamstrings Play with your gaze, changing perspective. Let's reverse it, guys. Bring it back through standing st splits first. All right, so now gather the core, put a step in on your knee and lift up halfway. Step it back, right foot meets left, mountain pose, breathe in and breathe out. Step to the center of the mouth. Let's take a light back bend, hands to your low back. Zip up your thighs, heels pull away from center, lift and beam the chest, take it back, lengthen your tailbone. Show your breath. Come back to center, standing bow. Sweep high, release the right arm back. Bend the right knee, grab your big toe side. Here we go, maybe grab your ankle if you feel more open right now. Maybe a little bit further down on your shin, kick into your hand and start to lift the chest as you stack the shoulders, stack the hips. Internally rotate the right femur, the leg lifted. Let your deep as the foot grows, right above the crown of the head. Find your edge. And release the right side down as we mill up over the opposite side. Bend the left knee, grab the big toe side, ankle or shin. Kick into the hand when you're ready. Gather the core, guys, and then kick. Build your edge. Unwind your body, come back to mountain pose, breathe in and breathe out for three. Shift the weight onto your left foot, place the right foot to the calf or thigh or bend your knee, rotate at your hip, place the right foot on top of your left thigh. Hold the foot from the palm facing up from underneath the foot and then allow the knee to roll down and back. There's branches. There's vines, eyes closed, there's low variations, lowering the shin to about a tabletop, bend the knee, lower yourself down. You can do toe stand, lowering your hips down to the heels. You can also work in our balance into figure four crow. The top of the foot on the tricep, hug the toes in, flare them out, and then lower the knee to the tricep. As you rock forward, squeeze the inner thighs, top of the glutes, and then try to lift the bottom foot off the ground. Wherever you find yourself, make your way back into center and releasing the right foot down into the ground. Opposite side. Here we go, shift the weight to the right foot, placing the left foot to the inner calf or thigh or take your tree variation. Let go of results. Let go of ideas, of ideas. And our self-worth is not tied up to the shapes we make with our bodies. Whatever you find yourself, make your way up or down. And I'll meet everyone in Mountain Pose, acknowledging all the work 
we've done together and then letting it all go. Let's turn it over, you guys. Laying down on our mats. Feet to the back of your mat. Head towards the front of your mat. And let's rest with the feet together, the knees wide. So you can let your hips open. Gravity pulling your knees down. One hand on the belly, the other one close to the heart. It's just so you can feel both the pulse and the breath. Let's exhale. Bring the knees back together. Third part of wind removing, draw the knees to your chest. And then at your shins, grab a hold of opposite wrist, arms, elbows. And then squeeze your elbows above the thighs. Above the shins, rather. Lengthen your spine and then squeeze yourself a little bit further. Flex the feet, inhale. Squeeze your knees tighter, exhales. Tailbone lengthens, one more time, inhales. Exhale, squeeze. And then release. I'm gonna break out core before inverses, and then we're gonna go back to core for back bends. So, just a little bit so we come really uh, integrated through the core before going upside down. Very light work, lengthen your legs up to the sky. Slide the rib cage to your hips, lift your torso, and just pulse 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's release. All right, legs down to the ground. Let's go upside down. So if you have a wall, find yourself a wall. If you have, um, you want to walk, work off of the wall, welcome to do that. I'm going to work shoulder stability. You're welcome to do your own thing if you'd rather do that. Avoid doing he headstands. Eh, rather not. I'm gonna face away from the wall. Or, yeah, not face into the wall, but face away from the wall. I'm gonna work letter L's in, um, in my body. And um, the shoulder stability and integration is, um, can be pretty challenging because it uh, requires stamina and, and concentration, so working that aspect of present moment awareness. I'm bringing the toe mounds onto the mat, the, the baseboard. And I'm inching myself to, the goal is to create 90 degree angles. So exactly where my shoulders are, are where I'm lowering my elbows. It feels like a very tight squeeze being against, away from the wall. But trust me, this is the body positioning you want to create 90 degree angles once you lift up. Palms on the ground, pressing through the palms, seal the core, protract your shoulder blades or puff them up and then lift the hips up. So you're in down dog, heels are on the wall. All right, so I'm going to hop halfway. Nug all the weight onto the top. I'm meeting this height of my hips, and then I'm coming myself, bringing myself upside down. Now, hip positioning. We have a tendency to stick the tailbone back. Draw the tailbone up into the ceiling, to the sky. And the gaze maybe halfway through your forearms. Abdomen draws in. So the bottom, the front part of your abdomen is being lifted from the pit to the throat, and the back of your body from the neck to your tailbone. Eventually waiting here, 30 seconds. Wow, pretty intense. If you wanna do the same exercise on in down dog, then you can work a lot of L shapes in um, sort of in a handstand position. I like to use um, to come off the wall and train being off the wall. I use the trick of having a towel at the crease of my hips. And the play is to keep the towel there so it also narrows my center of gravity or closes, up, closes it up. And the goal is to keep my knee as close as I can to, to my chest as I pulse up. So the movement looks like this. 
Uh, once I come upside down, I'm trying to keep the towel from falling. Belly in, lift up. All right, from here, I'm lifting either leg, doesn't matter, the one that's not on the, on the towel, and I'm drawing my heel up. Squeezing the knee will help me. Lift up, climb up, you fall. <laughs> Nice. You have a, about a half cold yoga minute. Ha. Meet you in child's pose, guys, whenever you're done with this one. As you find your space, let go of inversions, let go of the, the work you've done so far. Let's breathe in. And let's breathe out. One more time, inhale. And full exhales. Coming again onto all fours. We're just going to send the legs through to sit down so you can lean onto either hip. Maybe jump through to sit down if you'd rather do that. And I'll meet you with the legs forward, hips back. All right, here's a little bit of more core work. Reaching up the arms, exhale, lean halfway back. We're gonna build a boat. So you can keep your hands here supporting under the shoulders. Option, lift your shins off the ground. Thighs, hands on your thighs. Pulling a little bit your chest towards your knees. And once you find that space, then try to let go of the thighs, but keep the space and then lift your legs up. All right, here we go. Let the toes breathe. Three, two, one. Close, cross your ankles, press the hands, lift your hips. Maybe lift your feet. Hips down to the ground, pulsing action. Roll all the way back. Bring your shins to a tabletop. Fingertips to temples, right elbow to left knee. Right leg extends and pulse. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Both knees to your chest. Bring your hands, maybe pass your feet, squeeze, and release. Extend your arms and your legs. Exhale your breath. <sighs> Working a bridge, guys. So bend the knees so your feet are flat on the ground. Rough distance, middle finger touches the back of your ankles. Bend your elbows, triceps on the ground. Palms face each other. Ground your feet, press your elbows, and lift your hips. All right, we're hanging out. If you'd rather have it passive, grab a block under the hips. Feels fantastic. You're going muscular. Draw the shoulder blades closer. Interlace your fingers. Draw the knuckles to your heels. Abdomen in, guys. Distribute the effort evenly through the back of your body. And then lift your heels. Lift the hips another inch. Keep the heels, the hips high. Lower the heels down. Three two, one, articulate your spine down, windshield wiper. Second set. Actually, we're gonna roll up to our seat. Reach the arms to the sky, feet ground, inhales. All right, bring it up. You can stop, grab your thighs and give yourself a squeeze at the top. Reverse tabletop. Fingertips rotate forward a bit. I'll lean a little bit back. You're about maybe, um, maybe six inches behind your hips. All right, feet hip-width distance. Heels under the, under the knees, sort of. And then lift your up, body up into a tabletop. Knees bend, abdomen engages. Open the collarbones with the shoulder blades and maybe lean your head a little bit back, not throwing the back, head to the back, just enough. Inhales, breathe, exhales. 
One more. And then release hips between your hands. I come up to my, hand, my knuckle pads to create space for my booty and then lean forward. Maybe lift your thighs off the ground. Maybe one, maybe both. Three, two, one. Lower yourself down. All right, now for real, second bridge. Bend the knees, lower yourself down. Bend your elbows, triceps on the ground, heels close to your tailbone or sits bones. Lift up, second set. Take your body positioning, guys, in the lacing fingers. And once you get to the top, squeeze the thighs. Option to lift either leg up into the sky. Two breaths with the leg up. Switching sides. Leg down, inhale, lift the hips. Lower all the way to the ground. Exhale your breath. Windshield wiper. Let's go on wheel, guys. So option for another bridge if you like, or for wheel, extend the arms up, bend your elbows, rotate the fingertips towards your shoulders. All right. So your elbows could be a little bit wider typically to create space for the shoulders. When you're ready, exhale your breath. And on your inhale, push yourself up. Once you're at the top, point your feet straight forward again. Internally rotate the femurs. Feel the core, feel it tighten, and then work the shoulder girdle. Push the floor away with your hands to the fingertips. Big and deeper, six, five. Four, three, two, bring your chin to your chest, bend your elbows, lower yourself down carefully at the bottom. Give your wrist a little bit of a rotation. <sighs> Windshield wiper your legs. And stay right where you are. Figure four. Pigeon on your back, so placing the right ankle above your left knee. We're going to work a deep variation, guys. So I recommend grabbing a towel or a strap for this um, for this type of pigeon. All right, so we're going to reach through the gap, interlacing fingers behind the left thigh. So it starts pretty simple. This is the body position, and you can stay here throughout the time. Let's give our bodies a minute to relax and soften the, into the posture. Here's what happens when you rock left and rock right. All right, going further. Place the left inner elbow underneath the right foot. So right at the crease of the elbow, Monsi calls it the elbow pit. All right, the right inner elbow to the top of your knee, and now you're cradling your hands outside of your left leg. So the left leg is kind of hanging out by itself, and you're bringing the knee to your chest. Now, this, is, this could be it. You can also give your leg a little bit of a rock in its socket, left and right. Continue to flex the right foot. Relax your neck and shoulders. Maybe release the left leg down into the ground. We want to stimulate the rotation happening from the hip, not from the knee. So the moment you start feeling it on the side weight pressure on the knee, it might have gone too far. So think about that when as, as you're moving through. Now the goal eventually is to bring the right foot behind the neck. Well, maybe. So I'm starting to rotate more from my femur. I'm encouraging my femur to rotate instead of moving from my knee. So as I'm lifting my chest up, I'm hugging, I'm encouraging the rotation from the femur out and then approaching my leg, kind of like to the top of my head. I'm gonna check in what's, a, what's available today. Then more towards the ear. And then the leg comes towards straight. Now your leg, your leg does play the 
The neck. Yeah, pretty good today. When you have enough, release that leg. And bring the foot down onto the mat. Now step the right foot outside of the mat and let the right knee roll down and inward rotation of the femur. So it's the opposite direction. The left ankle can weigh on the knee and you can allow the right hip to lift off the ground as you encourage that opening. Deep inhale, slow exhales. One way in the knee, stepping the foot in, and now work on the other side. So start with figure four, left ankle above the right knee, reaching through the gap, interlace fingers behind the right thigh. All right, flex the foot first, and then just notice rocking your body right, your legs right, will give you a nice inkling of where you are in this side of the body. to cradle your shin, right inner elbow underneath the right, the left foot. Then reach out left inner elbow on top of the knee and then just bringing your shin to your chest. So again, we're encouraging the rotation of the femur. So if you push the hand on top of your left thigh and you push the leg out, it's gonna give you a nice idea of what the direction the legs gotta move. Flex the foot, press it into your inner elbow, soften your neck. And then make your progressions, guys, whenever you're ready. Externally rotate the femur first, and then lift your chest off the ground and see where you are on this side of the body. You have a strap of your ankle, and I help you to grab the thigh and then make your progression up. Whenever you've had enough, release that leg. Step the foot out of sight of the mat. Let the knee rotate in. Place the right ankle above your knee and let that hip lift up with the weight of the leg. Deep breath in. Slow breath out. And then making your way back into center, stepping the feet in. Bring the knees together, the feet apart. Lengthen your tailbone and then just rest with the arms by your side, the palms face up. Belly rising and falling. Nothing to accomplish. Nothing to hustle about. Being here, right here, right now, it's, it's enough. Crawling onto either side of the body. In a fetal position, rest a ear on your bicep. At your own pace, make your way up into a comfortable seat. And 
and with your palms together in front of the heart. We'll finish class together, joining our beautiful voices with that of the universe. One ohm. Let's take a deep inhale. Oh. Namaste. Thank you, guys. I'm going to uh, unmute my guys. Thank you, Monica. Hey, I can hear you now. Hi, Rachel. Hey, how's it going? How do you feel? Good. Thank you so much. So fun. Do you guys sweat in a little bit? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, that was wonderful. Me too. My hips feel so good right now. <laughs> <laughs> it was like some of the stuff was tough. Um, but once I got moving, it feels so good. Mm-hmm. Yay, thank you. And You're welcome, guys. We didn't do our ab dance. Healthy. We didn't. Oh, yeah, we didn't do the ab dance. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. It's great to see you guys. Bye. Have a great Bye. Sunday. Thank you. You're welcome.